Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Iratamed Corporation, ticker symbol IRMD, company 60 of our fundamental screener. It is in the healthcare equipment and supplies industry. Wow, well, we're getting a lot of those recently. 550 million market cap on 500 million enterprise value. So pretty small market cap. Insider ownership is 37%. Ooh, that's huge. Uh, incorporated in 1992, based out of Florida. Okay, return invested capital. Recently, in the most recent year, 23%. Both, uh, well, gross margins down a little bit, about percent and a half. Operating margin up 11%. Okay, growth is up quite a bit too. 16 million in 2014, up to 66 million in 2023. But pretty sick. Pretty cyclical um, in the fact that, you know, 100% growth in 2015, minus 29% in 2017, and then followed by 31% increase, and then 18% decrease. I guess this one was COVID, so that makes sense. But this one right here is interesting. Um, let's look at that income statement. We see that, sorry, what was there? They pay a dividend? Okay, they do pay a 0.3% dividend. Um Income statement shows shares increasing a little bit, not an immense amount to where I'd be concerned. Balance sheet shows 50 million cash on hand with 21 million in total liabilities. So from balance sheet perspective, very safe, very conservative. Um, on the free cash flow side, recently they do have 7 million in capital expenditures. I wonder what that is uh, because before that it was – you know, zero or one essentially. So I'd be interested to see. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to see how, like, what that is for. Um, and then this, their dividends paying out thirteen million in aggregate. That's that's a large amount. That is a large amount of their dividend being paid out. So that's interesting to see. Let's start making some assumptions here. I'd say on the revenue growth side, I mean, I don't know if that 30, 27, 20 can really hold. What do they do? Develop, manufacture, market industry, magnetic, resonance, imaging. Oh, just I made that sound so cool. MRI compatible medical devices with IV infusion pump systems. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I can see them grow 8% a year, but it's such a small company. I don't know how this mode is looking. Um, on the margin side, let's go. What are we looking at for averages here? Straight up 20. So let's do right, 18, 22. And let's do no increase of shares. And then the dividend. I mean, it looks like they're paying out a lot. I'd probably cut that in half. Um, even then, I want them to be reinvesting. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I cut it, cut it into fourth, cut it by seventy five percent because I just I don't know why they they started to pay this dividend. That's just ugh, some people. Um, anyways, we get to a price that needs to fall quite a bit before you get the return that we're looking for. I mean, again. If you think you're going to grow well beyond the discount rate you're looking for, I could easily see how this would be a great stop. But I'm going to be conservative with my estimations and go off of, you know, what I truly think is going to happen. And, you know, if we look between 2015 and 2020, revenue is the same. So I just don't know how uh, confident I am in the revenue growth sticking over here. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and have a great day. Thank you.